So I've laid down an underpainting. I just taped this here to protect that side. It's just some cad red watercolor. I just picked red because the background is red, right? Cool. So I'm just gonna go in with my gouache. Usually I use Prussian blue instead of black, but I'm gonna use black today because I like like the warmth of the whole picture and I wanna like keep it toasty. So I have my CMYK. I have this yellow ochre. This is such an old fucking tube of paint. I don't even know if paint will come out of this. We'll see. If it does, great. If not, well, it won't. And then I just have white. I'm gonna do the background last. I think I'm going to start with the jacket because that's the darkest. Even though when I paint with gouache, I never start with the darks. I know you're supposed to do that. So like, why not, right? Okay, so I'm done with the jacket for now, and I hated that, actually, and I that was stupid, and I don't think I'm gonna work from Dark to Light ever again. That fucking sucked. Moving on, I don't know if I'm ready for the skin yet, so I'm gonna do the sweater and then the skin, but we're just gonna go in with the sweater. I don't have red gouache. I only have the magenta, so we're gonna have to mix our own red. I know it's a primary, but if you just take the magenta and yellow, it should make I'm gonna use yellow ochre instead of the bright yellow, and it should make like a reddish. I'm gonna use both. I lied. Reddish. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put any cyan. Hello. Silly, stupid. I do need a bit of that. Grab some cyan. Mix, mix, mix. That was too much. It's okay. I'm gonna need way more of this color anyway. Okay. Put this. Get off. Some more of this. I grabbed another. Yes. And a little bit of white. What's under here? Oh, it's paint. It's still a bit pink. Oh, because I didn't mix any of the yellow in. Mm. I keep doing this, the voice crack. I keep painting things that are red, even though I don't have any red paint. And I could, there's two solutions. I could stop painting red stuff, or I could buy some red paint. And yet I do neither and just keep on painting. I think a little bit more of this yellow. That's a pretty much dead on ringer for the color I need. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this as a base layer cause I'm not doing dark to light again cause that sucked ass. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, I have laid the base of the sweater down. I was gonna do this fully in gouache, but after doing the sweater, there's a bit of ribbing on it, and I don't wanna do that with a brush. I'm probably gonna do like 85, 90% of it with paint, and then once I'm done, I'm just gonna do little itty bitty details with colored pencil. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna move on to the skin. But before that, I have to change my water, cause it's all yucky, and his skin is very glowy and like yellowish, whitish. And I don't want my nasty gray brown water to fuck that up. So I'm gonna go dump my water and we're gonna work, um, I guess I'll start, <laughs> I was gonna start on his hand, but like if I fuck up the hand, that's way less surface area. So I guess I'm gonna just start on his face. Like, fuck it, right? I'm gonna go right in. Yeah, I'm gonna start on his face. Well, I'll start on his neck. How about that? <laughs> How do I keep mixing the same color? I think I just need red. Do I have red? Do I have any red? So I can call you Jesus.
to hop in and say, when I said before I was fighting for my life, that isn't a strong enough statement for how the process of this face went. It's like I was crawling up from the deepest depths of Dante's Inferno, trying to get this face to look somewhat presentable. I got there in the end, but you, if you could feel the rage coming from my personage as I was painting this, it would be a very different story. I just needed to let that be known. Okay, this is where he's at right now. The face, um, well, the face. We're about to come in with some emergency supplies and fix it, cause it needs some help. So before I even touch this, this, we have to fix this. Cause if we can't fix this, there's no point in this. And I'm just gonna tape something else on top of this. <laughs> Okay, the eyes. Anyway, I'm gonna paint in the background now so I can do the finish up the hair because I can't do the hair without the background. And then once I fill in the background, we will return back to the face. You so it was really beating my ass. Um, I did find a tube of red paint because I was going through and I'm like, I swear I bought red paint one time and in my color theory class in college, I had to buy a tube of flame red and here it is. So. I'm just going to splurt out a teensy, 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 teensy bit more and then mix up a color for the background. It's basically just a slightly deeper red. Okay, we have gotten the face salvageable. You know what, looking at it with my eyes, it's like fine, but looking at it through the viewfinder, this kind of owns, like I'm kind of slaying it. So all I really have left is just the scarf and to clean up the hands a little bit. Also the pencils, I don't know why, because I've used these exact pencils on this exact gouache before and it worked fine, but it's not my friend today. So I guess I'll go in and do the details on the sweater with paint, but for now I'm just gonna clean up the hands and then, yeah.
Well, the scarf was pissing me off, so it's that's just how it looks now. I gave up on the pattern. It's just an approximation. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just in my sketchbook, right? Cool. So now that it's done, I get to finally take off the tape. So let me put all this paint away so I don't fuck up everything with wet paint and then we'll remove the tape. Yay, peels. the finished guy. Don't look at him. He, it's not about him. There's the finished painting. I'm quite happy with it. The border makes it look super sexy. I'm very pleased. I now have one, two, three, four, five pages of Yungi in a row and there's nothing wrong with me and I'm perfectly mentally stable. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!